Hello everyone, and welcome back to Netherward Saves the World. Now, apologies for the long hiatus that was going on there. Uh, long story short, there was a medical issue I had that prevented me from sitting down for a while, and then I was going on a trip with my dad, and then I accidentally installed... And then I kind of installed Shadow of Mordor and got addicted to that for a while, so I couldn't edit for a while. And yeah, things kind of got out of hand, but I'm hoping I can get back into it. I just finished editing episodes 35 and 36. Hopefully those can be up before long. It is uh, currently, I believe it is Thursday, July 20th of 2017. And I'm not really too upset. Like, I'm not really too nervous about us losing now, because, you know, we still have the whole Avatar project thing. Because there was, like, an expansion pack to this game released recently, where, uh, you know, I think Re Revenge of the Fallen, Challenge of the Chosen, something with the Chosen. So I'm not too worried about, uh, I'm not too worried about the whole Avatar project anymore. I figure if we lose, which we're probably going to, we can just come back with a uh, whole chosen thing. So we'll just do that. It's after, th that comes out after my birthday, so hopefully I'll get some money or some uh, Steam gift cards or something. But uh, it has been a long time. Uh, we did finish, we did finish uh, researching a Muton corpse last time. We just got a better grenade launcher from that. And, uh, I gotta get my bearings, so I'm gonna come, I'm gonna cut it here, because I need to get my bearings, figure out where we are, what we're doing, and, uh, I'll get back to you guys when we got a new mission for us, alright? So, uh, I'll see you in a sec. Wait, wait, what? Spark? I didn't order a spark. Hang on. What's this? I, I mean, I upgraded a power relay and got us a resistance comms, but how, how did we get a spark? Uh, Amy? Wait, you mean the, you, the gun? What? What is this? What what is what is this? Um. Okay. I guess we have Amy with us now. What kind of gun is Vonky using then? Like where where is Vonky? There she is. So what what, what kind of what kind of fucker does she have? Cat and mouse? When the hell did she get the cat and mouse? That's... What? What? Amy? What are you doing here? How did you get that body? Huh. Well, that's something. Uh, we almost got our shadow chamber. And, uh, we're still getting intel. Huh, that's, uh, interesting. Shadow Chamber now operational. Okay, finally. Now let's, uh, black site file. Wow, freaking three days each. Um, I think we gotta do the codex brain first. Except. Uh, God dang it. Well. Hmm. Okay, well, you're not doing anything right now. Oops. Okay. That's not what I meant. So, you can... Do nothing. Okay. Duly, no duly noted. 
There's nothing you can do right now. Uh, well, I'm gonna keep scanning then. Uh, I'll bring you back when we got something to do then. Hmm. Uh, okay. Well, that's done. That's, uh, Berserker Queen Autopsy. By the thorough examination of mod modified Berserker variant known as Subject Beta, I failed to uncover any meaningful justification for the enhanced equipment provided by Dr. Fallon to the creature. Huh. I fully understand the creature's enhanced system requires the addition of this transport and filtering mechanism to maintain a hormonal equilibrium. I admit is a reasonably elegant solution to otherwise daunting question. What I can notice, cannot understand is why was it necessary to take this relatively relative certainty beyond theoretical stage? <laughs> there is no need for a proof of concept. <laughs> ah, interesting. So we can make a rage suit now. Of course, we still can't make anything else because yeah. Uh, let's. 10 days, 11 days, 4 days, 5 days. Okay, Berserker Optopsy. Duly noted. Where am I supposed to get a cutscene for that? We are getting a bug again, I think. Because, yeah, look, nothing's showing up here. Okay, we must have finished this. Hang, hang on, guys. I'll. I need to. I need to save and reload. I think there was. I think there was some kind of bug. Because yeah. Nope. Okay, so we apparently did do that. Uh. What? Okay, I'm pretty sure we were supposed to get a cutscene. But we didn't. I'm gonna load an old save. I'll bring you guys back in when we're back up to snuff, cause we missed a cutscene. I'm not sure where it is, but we definitely missed a cutscene, so I will bring you guys back in a sec. Shadow Chamber now operational. Although I'm impressed with the strides go. we've made in infiltrating the alien psionic network, the depths of their technological advancement continue to leave us one step behind. However, with the enhanced decryption capabilities of this chamber, I'm confident we will find a great deal more information than we had previously hoped. New objective available. added. Okay, there we go. So we got that. That's one cutscene. Okay. We are fully prepared to begin our analysis of the material rec That's just save, so we don't have to do all of that again. I'm sorry, guys. This first episode is a bit wonky. With the Shadow Chamber fully operational, we can use its advanced decryption capabilities to analyze the Codex artifact recovered by our forces. Yes. Let us research... The Codex Brain. And, uh... We're zoom scanning for both intel and to pass the time, because there's not much else we can do. Commander. We're making progress piecing this thing back together, but it hasn't been pretty. Our soldiers completely disabled this unit in the field. What we're hearing is merely a byproduct of electrical impulses. I assure you, it is well past the point of feeling hate. I'll take your word for it, Doctor. I'm sending you a new sequence now. These are coordinates. Return coordinates. I think we've got a point of origin. Well, part of one. Something else. Something underneath. One more. The unit is attempting to block further access. That's not all it's doing. I'm losing the data we've already decrypted. Almost there. Just one more adjustment. <laughs> Accessing the power core, overriding my safety, increasing power levels to try and sever the connection. There.
some sort of fail-safe protocol, I imagine. The Codex must have intentionally overloaded the interface to prevent any further theft of information. Still, I believe I was one step ahead. That's an enormous amount of data. Yes, and I expect it may take some time to decipher. Better get started. I don't think we're gonna be able to do that again. I'll proceed with the necessary research and preparation. With your approval, of course, Commander. I'd also suggest we look into those coordinates. That's if I can reconstruct the data we lost in the transfer. I just hope it was worth it. New objective added. I've updated our latest operational objectives, Commander. In the field, the Codex appears as an anomalous form in an almost constant state of flux, seemingly only present in our world for milliseconds at a time. However, it was apparently not immune to the effects of conventional weaponry, having dissipated before leaving behind this object. Alrighty then, so that was terrifying. Can we skulljack these guys yet? Because we need to get that Avatar project down. Again, I'm not worried if it doesn't go down. If we lose, I'll just bring the series back late in August, but, uh, yeah. I guess let's, uh, choose another Shadow Project. And, uh, hang on. Um, I don't know if this will do it. Right, well, let's do this then. As if we can get on the path towards, uh, getting our thing going like our uh no we don't have supplies our, our like skull jacking of codexes that may New we'll have objective chance. added codex brain coordinates i'm keeping tabs on all oh, our operations commander all the way down there are standing by for your god orders. damn it we don't have access to that region uh and we need more as intel we need more intel to get here and, yeah well, we should have a supply drop soon. Uh, Wes is done training. I think we just have an expendable left to train. Commander, we might have to do some cleaning, but we've still got room to grow here. We should consider building some new facilities. Oh yeah, that, uh... Ah, oh, thanks, Shen. That reminds me. We can probably get some more, uh, supplies and such by getting, uh... Yeah. There we go. Thank you, Shen. Ah, 20 days. Oh my god. Christ. Okay, well, you're not doing anything right. Yeah. Here, you can help out. There we go. Oh. That wasn't good. Can I see the pop-ups again? Okay, good. I couldn't exit that for some reason. Priority message up. coming through, Commander. Putting it on screen now. Leading the resistance oh, hey, fire, is a daunting fireball. task, Commander. But your hmm. efforts so far have left many wondering if we have made the right approach. Uh, we will have to do better. Freaking major breakthrough. Uh, well, yep. Yeah. Right, well, let's get those supplies and then we'll pick up Fire Hot. And, uh, maybe some other soldiers, if we can find them. Get to work on, uh, something else, maybe. There we go. Okay. Setting course for West Africa. So, Fire Hot Lava Ball. The, uh, guy I play Way of the Wicked with every week. Or other week, rather. Welcome, Commander. Here we go. Who and an engineer. Uh, let's see, we could get in an engineer, but we also want to do a thing. This is something I really want to do. Shielded power coil. Scilab. Yes, I want Scilab to make a Scilab. Construction initiated. I would enjoy making a Scilab, so I'm going to do that. Uh, yes, I know we uh, are a little bit low on supplies and engineers. Ah, there it goes. There it goes. I was worried about this. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. Commander, we're almost out of time. 
The Avatar project is entering its final stages. The only way we're gonna slow the Elders' progress is by destroying one of their facilities. I'm trying. We have to move fast or everything we've worked towards will be lost. I'm trying, we just don't have enough intel. Central, Commander, excellent. My analysis of the fragmented Codex data is almost complete. The information I've uncovered so far outweighs the loss of the Shadow Chamber, as you'll see. Is that an Elder? Haven't seen one in at least a decade. Yes, and I believe I now understand why. The Elders appear to be afflicted with an aggressive form of tissue degeneration. Rapid muscular atrophy, to a degree I had not even thought possible. So they're dying. Sounds like our job just got a whole lot easier. As with most things involving this adversary, it's never quite that simple. The Elders have been aggressively searching for a cure to their condition for centuries. Each time they encountered a new species, they procured what genetic information and material they required and moved on to the next world. Until now. I believe they found something in us. Something important enough to cause them to take root. A cure? Not that I can determine. Several key files were previously deleted as part of something called the Avatar Directive. Avatar. We need those files. Were I to gain access to a fully functioning codex, I might be able to recover them. Or blow the entire ship to hell this time around. I didn't say I needed the creature here, Bradford. I am confident I could access the unit remotely, provided your soldiers can get close enough to it in the field without destroying it first. That we can arrange, Doctor. Objective added. Okay. Now we have a chance. So. I know it's not going to seem like that much that long to you guys. Because I have to cut a lot out of this episode. But. I'm going to call it here. And next time. We are going to see. If Nether Ward saving the world. Is going to go out with a bang. Or a whimper. Thank you everyone so much for watching. I'll see you again next time. Farewell. <laughs>